guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to install InfluxDB on Ubuntu and configure it for Home Assistant. So this will pull in all the data uh, from Home Assistant and store it in InfluxDB and then you can uh, basically use that with Grafana or something like that to have some really cool looking graphs with all that uh, information and stuff that it got from Home Assistant. So let's get started. All right, so of course, as always, I like to start out my tutorials by running updates on your machine to make sure everything's up to date. So let's do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through that. Um, it's just really just a reminder for you guys to make sure you guys do your updates on your machine. All right, so updates are done. So let's go ahead and uh, get InfluxDB installed on our box. So, and again, I'll put all this information in the uh, in the description so that you can just copy and paste it, make it a little bit easier for you. But we're going to get do a curl dash sl, and that's a capital L. And it's HTTPS uh, repos at influxdata.com slash influxdb.key. We'll pipe that into uh, a, a sudo apt key add. Basically, that's just adding the key for, uh, for that site. Uh, next, uh, let's do a source etsy lsb dash release. And lastly, we're going to add this to the end of our uh, sources file. And this is pretty long again. I'll put it in the description uh, so you can just copy and paste it instead of me just reading it off to you. Once we get all this in there, then we will be able to do an update and go ahead and install InfluxDB. So. All right, so we got that added in there. Now let's do a sudo apt-get update. Now we are ready to install our InfluxDB. So we're going to do a sudo apt-get install InfluxDB. All right, so now that we got uh, InfluxDB installed, let's uh, go ahead and start it. So we'll do a sudo systemctl start InfluxDB. Everything started okay, it looks like. Let's go ahead and do a status just to make sure we can see, uh, see everything's running okay. So sudo uh, systemctl status InfluxDB. As you can see, it's active and running, so we should be good. 
All right, so next we are going to add our Home Assistant database to InfluxDB. Uh, so let's get back to the command line here. We're going to do a, uh, we're just going to type in Influx. And we can say create a database. And then we're just going to call it Home underscore Assistant. You can call it whatever you want. This is uh, an easy way to remember what everything is. And that's it. The database is created in InfluxDB. So now we need to go back to our uh, Home Assistant configuration and we are going to um, point Home Assistant at our, uh, our InfluxDB server. All right, so here we are in our um, uh, Home Assistant server. We're going to uh, edit the configuration.yaml file. Just scroll down here. We're going to add in a couple of lines. The new component will be InfluxDB. The host, this is the IP address of your InfluxDB box. It may be installed on the same system as Home Assistant. If it is, you can just type in localhost. If not, then of course, like I said, you want the IP address uh, of that server. Uh, now you don't have to do include um, or exclude or anything like that. I only want to pull in certain information, so I'm going to include uh, sensors, and that's it. So include domains and then sensor. I will put a link to the Home Assistant components page for InfluxDB that will show you all kinds of... Uh, different tweaks and stuff that you can do to that component. Uh, so let's go ahead and restart Home Assistant now that we've made that change. Give that a second to come back up. So basically at this point we are done with the whole installation. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go back over to our in, uh, Influx box I'm going to just show you that it has started already started pulling in that data from Home Assistant. We're going to use our new Home Assistant database. So we'll say use home underscore assistant. And then just do a show series. And as you can see here, it's already pulling in information. I have like a dark sky uh, weather uh, you know, sensor set up on that box and everything. So it's already started pulling in all that data. And it'll take a little while for it to start circulating in and everything. But uh, for the most part, it, you're good to go. You know, just give it some time to start pulling in data and you can start creating your own uh, graphs and stuff. Like that. that is it on this tutorial, guys. I, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments below. Um, again, next week I'm going to have another video on uh, installing Grafana and how you can pull in that data from InfluxDB and start creating some graphs in Grafana, which will look really cool. If there is a tutorial that you want to see that I don't already have on, uh, on my channel, please hit me up in the comments and I'll see if I can't get something set up for you guys. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you around. Thanks.